Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome everybody. It's Chris back with a very special fragrance review, special to my heart, um, because it's obviously all about one of my favorite, if not my favorite ever designer, the late great genius, Karl Lagerfeld. He has, um, he's passed away more than three years ago now. And so obviously, this fragrance, this new launch, this new release by the brand Karl Lagerfeld is not directly his creation, but I'm going to come to it. But there is a but to that. But before we come to the but, okay, I would like to state that um, it is indeed a special launch, a special occasion, because after 1978 and 1990, 2022 is only the third year that sees a Lagerfeld fragrance bottled in this very bottle design, designed by Karl Lagerfeld himself in 1978 for his um, original classic or Cologne, as it was called back then, fragrance Lagerfeld, Cologne Lagerfeld classic, as it's called now, 1978. This is a fra the fragrance very much still widely available, and this was the initial fragrance, Lagerfeld Classic, okay? Then we've seen a few years gone by, 12 years after, another fragrance was launched in 1990 in the same bottle design, or with the same bottle design, the famous, sadly discontinued Lagerfeld photo, okay? 1990, what a masterpiece. And then another 32 years on is this fragrance. 2022 is the year, this year, and we see Lagerfeld classic gray hit the market, okay? So only the third fragrance ever in the past 44 years to be launched in this very bottle designed by Karl himself. Now. Can it live up to the great expectation? Because obviously both Lagerfeld Classic and Lagerfeld Photo were very, very popular. They're still around, they're sadly discontinued, by, but missed by many, including myself. So what is it now with Lagerfeld Grey? And I've done a teaser on this one. And let me start. To introduce this to you nice bottle nice box um, obviously referring to the gray color and the bottle itself indeed as gray as it gets and you could ask gray why gray tell you Lagerfeld is one of one of Lagerfeld's favorite uh, color was indeed gray he wore suits in his later years uh, they were black or gray indeed so very much um, his taste being reflected in the name and the bottle color, okay? And then we come to the smell. And now, <laughs> there's been many people out there, um, especially after the teaser that I published a few days ago, um, wondering if this is maybe a clone of photo, hoping, you know, high hopes, is this a clone of photo? Because I was referring to this new fragrance being a very close relative to a Lagerfeld fragrance that has been released a few years ago, uh, actually a few years ago, more than 20 years ago, but it is not photo. Although it's called classic as well, it has nothing to do with the original classic. So what am I talking about then? I will reveal it, okay? But first let's, let's Take a look at this individually. Um, what you have here is a um, semi-fresh, woody, um, dry, slightly sweet, um, soft aromatic fragrance, okay? 
if we take a look at the the notes here there is there is a bit of green aspect to it but it is a kind of special smelling green it's bay leaf okay paired up with a with a lavender start which makes it greenish fresh um and a bit classy due to the, the the classy backbone of the lavender what you get afterwards is a bit of a sweetness of of probably vanilla but it's not your typical vanilla i don't smell the, this typical vanilla in there really um what i smell is a very strong oak um laurel which adds another special touch to this one and and cedar um The combination, the blend of these create a um, special smelling, soft, um, genuine, gentle, never pushy, well-rounded fragrance, well-rounded smell, well-executed blend that is very much semi-fresh just a tiny bit sweet due to the vanilla and to add the final touch to this there is a prominent hazelnut note that i adore a lot i love the hazelnut note in this one one of the nicest hazelnut notes that i've that i've um, smelled one of the most natural smelling hazelnut and together with the bay leaf, the laurel, and indeed the cedar, and a, this tiny bit of vanilla, this makes up for a great, overall, very woody fragrance. I, I still, the oak, the cedar, are still going very strong throughout the entire development of this fragrance, okay? So that's what you get. The, the, the silage and the projection are moderate. It's not, not pushing, not in your face, nothing like that. Um, longevity, I've tried this now, I've tested this for almost 48 hours now. Um, it's difficult because it's on skin, it doesn't last as long as it does on clothing, which is the case with most fragrances, okay? So um, I spray quite a lot of this, again, underneath the shirt and that, so when it becomes one with your clothing and your hair and that it, it it really goes toward the the half day mark or the next morning type of mark on skin four five hours six hours max okay then it then it vanishes um so performance wise i would say from all aspects it's moderate okay but you're happy to re reapply because it's a very enjoyable smell um, it's an order toilet and it's life is according to that unless again you spray it on hair and clothes where it lasts longer the smell overall is very satisfying to me um, it does not go along any modern trend I would not call it gourmand I would not call it sweet uh, I've seen some voices out there that who are calling this a gourmand sweet fake no to me absolutely not uh, there's vanilla in there, but there's this uh, and, and hazelnut, but it doesn't smell like Salvatore Uomo or, or Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo, which is ridiculous. So it doesn't smell like coffee or tiramisu or, or, or vanilla cake or any of that shit. Okay, so this is this is something that smells to me very French because it's delicate. Um, it has a charm. It has a delicate charm. And therefore, its performance fits this fragrance. This, if this would be stronger, um, it would it would be um, disturbing. This needs to linger. This smell. It cannot push itself too much, because its charm lies in its overall appearance and how it comes across. Okay, and if you intelligently apply this, um, you will get the performance that you want. Now, last but not least, revealing the Lagerfeld fragrance that this refers to in my books. And this is why Scent Land, the land of scent is special because I have a vast knowledge 
of vintage fragrances, including very much the Lagerfeld fragrances. And this one reminds you of one particular Karl Lagerfeld fragrance that is much overlooked in the community. It has been launched in 2002, falsely stated by Fragrantica as 2003. And it was very much simply called Lagerfeld Man. There was a female version as well, came out in 2000, I think. This came 2002, Lagerfeld Man. And this was dedicated at the time to and created by Karl because of his, of, of his love of freshly ironed white shirts. And the, and the nose behind this was Christine Nagel. And there is a difference, obviously. Listen, we're not talking about the same fragrance here, but um, where this one and this one are similar is the dry down, the mid and the dry down. At the beginning, this has very strong peppers, strong peppers, and Christine Nagel is very good with pepper. Um, but then, this has a similar woody base. Uh, instead of vanilla, it has cinnamon, I believe. But it goes toward the same, just a tiny bit sweet, very woody, um, dry, and very much um, signature-worthy dry down okay so to me the dry down of Lagerfeld man and Lagerfeld classic gray is very similar and that is good news because this was a great fragrance even though it has been discontinued and the other great news is uh, I think that Carl would have applauded and very much liked the new classic gray because it's a strong throwback it's a strong reminder of his own creation that he's, he's done together with Christine Nagel back 20 years ago, called Lagerfeld Man, okay? And it carries that Lagerfeld DNA, his love for uh, the freshly ironed, clean white shirts, because the woodiness in here, um, definitely. If you take the pepper away from Lagerfeld Man, you get a, a similar DNA of uh, Lagerfeld Classic Grey. Um, it's almost as if Lagerfeld Grey, Classic Grey, is a more well-rounded, more subtle, more gentle and softer version of the 2002 Lagerfeld Man release, okay? So I hope I was able to shed some light on the many question marks that are still surrounding this fragrance. To me, this is an absolute uh, versatile, all year round, all occasion, signature worthy fragrance. I'm still in the, in the process of, you know, trying to get more and more impressions and, and feelings about it. But the past 48, 48 hours were enough, at least for me to bring you a sort of comprehensive and genuine review on and take on how I feel about this fragrance and how this, what this fragrance is all about and, and also the reference to the good old Lagerfeld man from 20 years ago, okay? And the other thing is that this gives me also high hopes that why not have a Lagerfeld classic black next year that re would remind us of photo, huh? Nice incentive, Lagerfeld. Are you listening? You should, because people would be jumping on that one. So thanks very much. This was Chris with a hopefully helpful and comprehensive review on the brand new release, Karl Lagerfeld Classic Grey. Thanks very much and uh, see you soon for yet another review. And for a historic last moment, I placed this these three on one shelf. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Carl would be proud.